Hi. I didn't know you were on duty today. I'm not. I'm here as a patient. A patient? What's wrong? Why didn't you call me? Where's Emma? Emma's fine. She's at daycare. Mac and Felicia are picking her up. Patrick, what's going on? Why are you here? I have a drug problem. What? I've been self-medicating. And I didn't want anybody to know, especially people that I work with. I've been on amphetamines, and my wife is dead. And obviously that's harder to get over than the drug dependency, but both are true. Robin is gone, and I'm an addict. You have a lot of friends and family to support you. Yeah. Actually, Mac... Maxie and Lulu are the reasons why I'm here. Uh, Maxie found one of the pills and she confronted me and um, I tried to white knuckle it, but it wasn't long before I lost control. And, and that's when Lulu stepped in. Mm. Well, she's been through it enough with her dad and her brother. Yeah, she's a tough one. <laughs> mm. She made me realize what I was doing, not only to myself, but to Emma. She brought me here. With Ewan's help, I'm gonna check in the detox. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you're seeing Ewan. Yeah, um... You know, we talked and... He understands... what I've been going through with Robin and, um... and how I've been using the pills to kind of mask the pain. He's a good guy. Yeah, I agree. And he cares about you. I don't know. Maybe you should give me another chance. You need to focus on your own recovery. Uh, don't worry. You and I weren't talking about you today. It was a few weeks ago when he came in for his follow-up. He asked me if I thought Jason was an issue. I said yes. Why would you say that? My personal feelings aside, you and Jason had a child together and there's no stronger bond in the world. He's married. Well, from what I heard, that's falling apart. Jason still loves Sam. And you still have a soft spot for him. Just like Robin did, and I'm never gonna understand that, so don't ask me why. Well, maybe you don't have to understand it, and maybe I don't really have to justify my feelings to anyone. Look, Elizabeth, clearly I'm in no position to comment on anyone else's life, but you've always been a good friend to me, and I just, I don't want to see you get hurt. My feelings for Jason are complicated, and right now he's suffered a loss, and... I care about him. And he's unavailable. Look, I don't want you to waste time pining for somebody that's not there for you, whether it's Lucky or Jason. And I'm just saying that you and a good guy. He's smart. And he's available. And life is short. I got it from here. I've walked enough patients down here. I just never thought it'd be me. This is a good thing. You know that I wasn't taken to get high, yeah, right? Yeah, of course not. You were trying to function. I get it. It was just in the end, like... I would see her and she would say my name and I could, like... It was like I could touch her. But... Someone very wise once told me you can't live in the past. Thank you, Elizabeth, of course, again. Just being a friend. Everything all right? Hi. 
Um. Yeah. 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 We're we're just talking about Robin. That's I'm good. That's... No, I'm sorry. Of course. You should talk about her. Keep her alive. I'm, I'm going to see Luke. Do you know how he is? If he's stable. And the last I checked, he was awake. Thank you for not saying anything. She would just... She would worry. Yeah, it's not my place to say anything to anyone. You're getting treatment. You've got a lot of support. Yeah, I just... It's not the drugs. It's... Saying goodbye to Robin. I know. Switzerland. I promise. Elizabeth, hi. Hey, you busy? Oh, I'm just waiting on a transport. Okay, well, I was thinking about what you said, how we should give it another try. And? And it's kind of funny, but I was talking to Patrick, and he made me realize that I, I would like to go out with you again. Well, well that's great. Uh, you're accepting. I am. And, and I have Patrick to thank? Seems like the two of you hit it off. I owe him one. 